I've been a part of uh, lots of unfortunate uh, environmental practices. You consume, on average, on any movie set, $12,000 in diesel. Chemicals being dumped. You know, 10 years ago, we would leave, you know, 20 generators running overnight. Diesel trucks running for 14 hours when they only need to run for one. It's an enormous amount of money being spent, let alone the effects the emissions have on our environment. We would, you know, that classic pouring paint down the drain. Explosives being used or improperly stored. We would literally take our sets and, and you know, put, put a bulldozer in them and, and throw them into dumpsters. And... On a day-by-day -day process, I'm sure you can imagine how much waste is generated on set. All of those things, you know, from the big to the little, uh, all have an impact on the environment. You know, this is an industry, uh, and, and, and there'll be things that be come out of the industry that could be harmful to the environment. It is really important to be uh, very conscious of what we do. I see in the last five years an increased positive attitude towards green filmmaking, and that more and more crew members want to be green. If you ever go to a film shoot these days, you'll see uh, really uh, a targeted effort towards uh, towards recycling and being conscious of of, uh, of the environment. You know, we we've been ahead of everybody else, and when green filmmaking came along, we wanted to stay in ahead of everybody else. So, you know, it wasn't something I, I must admit we gave a great deal of thought to. But about three or four years ago, we thought we really need to start be more careful of what we do here, being better stewards of our environment. We try and assist the film industry here and nationwide into creating zero carbon footprint solutions. I think that the biggest challenge today in green filmmaking is just changing the mindset. I think that it's important for Albuquerque, for all industries in Albuquerque, to practice sustainable endeavors because we live on our planet and we're one with the planet and it's just a matter of evolution. Utilizing renewable processes or recycling on a film set have changed drastically. You've now got a, a mindset in America where it behooves you to go green. When it comes to green filmmaking, the attitudes have changed exponentially in the past couple years. Everybody has seen it. There's a huge move, uh, not only by the studios, but by the, action, by the crew members on the ground. There's a consciousness. The things being implemented here in New Mexico with the green initiatives I think there's a greater push for green filmmaking and renewable practices than anywhere else in the world. I, I think that there are several reasons that we're seeing such an increase in filmmaking in Albuquerque and in New Mexico. First of all, of course, is the generous 25% rebate that the state offers. Specifically for Albuquerque, we have a mild climate with 310 days of sunshine. Outside of Los Angeles and New, New York, New Mexico has the largest qualified crew base. Movie Maker Magazine just ranked Albuquerque the number one city to live and work and make movies in the United States. So that was quite an accomplishment. So specifically with film, this is really who we are. To compete, you have to at least be in that, in that game, uh, notwithstanding uh, the fact that we should be conscious of our environment and the footprint that we have. I, I can't emphasize this enough. It's hiring people who live here, who are local here. You look at a, a TV series like Crash, 96% of that TV series from New Mexico, over 90% on in-plane cider from New Mexico. When you're not putting people on a plane, when you're not uh, you know, putting them up in a hotel, when they're not getting paid portal to portal, when there's four guys in a car, not one, that's a big deal, that's green. And we'll work with a green company before we work with anybody else. I mean, one of our people has just built a hydrogen-based truck to you know, work craft service. Any generator that is used on set can be converted over to hydrogen. The ability to never use fuels again. We have to change the industry, we can't just change one movie. The number one reason, I think, for practicing green in Albuquerque, New Mexico is that, uh, that we preserve this beautiful place uh, for future generations. And, and part of that is the responsibility we all have to the environment. We have the power to show the public how important green filmmaking is. To alter what we're doing right now and create a better future, not only in filmmaking, but for the world. We should just do it automatically. I don't think you need to push people into this. I think people want to do this. Reduce, reuse, recycle. We need to bring this thought into our everyday lives today. 
I think one of the biggest advantages of uh, New Mexico for green filmmaking is that when people come here, there is, a, a, there is kind of an overall uh, beauty that people don't want to tarnish. So I've actually found that when people come to New Mexico, it makes them more green just because you're in a beautiful setting. I think that we just need to continue to raise the awareness, and I really think that it comes back to the individual crew member. We don't need to be in such a hurry that we can't figure out how to recycle.